So in this video, we're just going to look quickly at the formulas for double angles and trigonometric identities. And I'm going to give you two uh, formulas that aren't in the formula book as well. Okay. So first we'll just look at the ones that are in the formula book. We have cos 2a is equal to cos squared a minus sine squared a. Sine 2a is equal to 2 sine a cos a. And then tan 2a is equal to 2 tan a over 1 minus tan squared a. Yeah. I've also just thrown these in, um, which you can get by rearranging this if you want. But uh, they're given in the formula book as well. So if you need to change something squared into just cos 2a, you can do it like this. Um, yeah, and I'm going to give you two formulas that aren't. So they're to do with cos 2a here. So I'm going to start by writing cos 2a down here. Cos of 2a is equal to cos squared a minus sine squared a. We also know that this is the first trigonometric identity we learned. Cos squared a plus sine squared a is equal to 1. Yeah. So we can use this and this to get new forms of cos 2a. So I'm just going to write this there twice. I'm going to say cos squared a is equal to 1 minus sine squared a. So that's you're rearranging this. And also you can write that sine squared a is equal to 1 minus cos squared of a. Yeah. So I'll start with um, what color will I go? Green. Okay, so I'm going to start by writing cos 2a is equal to cos squared a minus sine squared a. I'm going to sub cos squared a, so it's going to be 1 minus sine squared a into this here. So instead of cos squared a, I'm going to write 1 minus sine squared a. 1 minus sine squared a minus sine squared a. So that's going to be 1 minus 2 sine squared a. So to finish that off, I guess I'll finish it off in green as well. Cos of 2a then, another way of writing it, is going to be 1 minus 2 sine squared a. So that's one that could come in useful. And then also I'll go um, bright blue. Second one, I'm going to write this again, is cos 2a is equal to cos squared a minus sine squared of a. And then instead of uh, writing cos, sorry, instead of writing sine squared, I'm going to sub this in here. So instead of sine squared, we're going to write 1 minus cos squared a. So we're going to have cos squared a minus, so instead of sine squared again, this thing here, we're going to have 1 minus cos squared a. So that's going to be cos squared a minus 1, and it's going to be plus cos squared a, because it's minus, minus cos squared a. So we'll be left with plus cos squared a. And then scroll down a little bit more. We're going to get our final answer, which is cos 2a is equal to uh, 2 cos squared a minus 1. So those aren't in the formula book, so it's best if you can derive them. So it's not too hard to learn off how to do that. It's just easier, I think, than learning these things off because it's really easy to get confused. Is it 1 minus 2 sine squared or 2 cos squared a minus 1 or which one's which kind of? So they're not too hard to learn how to prove. So I'll leave you with those. And then the next video, we're going to look at some examples of using these double angle trigonometric identities.